Hey y'all, Joseph Flipper here. I've gotten a few questions asking about how you make your robot score effectively in the long goal. And it seems a little bit complex at first. Sometimes uh, there's all the rollers and they're jumping up and down when the ball score, and it's not really obvious what's going on here. So I've broken it up into some uh, tips and tricks that should help you build yours and make your score in the long goal more effectively. So let's get started. Now, when you score in the long goal, we're gonna wanna keep in mind a few things. Right here, we have this triangle on the bottom of the robot, this like triangle shape here. And what that does is it helps align us inside of like the crevice of uh, right here and right here. And so when we drive into it, it'll like help align our robot to be centered no matter what angle or if we're off a little bit, that's okay. It'll help align us to be centered. And that's also what like these guys are for, to help us align us if we hit over to there. Um, so these, these are really important to make sure that your robot is lined up. Once your robot's lined up, then we can look at scoring. So when we're on the goal, you can see that this rotates independently from this. So like these like go independently from each other. And the reason for that is this here. So if we score, you can see that this one is lifted up a little bit because there's a block here. But when there was one still in the robot, this one was still lifted up. And now if these were connected together, this would be like up here and this block wouldn't have as much power to score into the goal. And so this, it just helps it be um, more able to score a whole bunch of blocks at once when you do it that way. So you can score like that. And then we have this giant plastic piece on the end, which is gonna go all the way out to the end of your size box. And what that's for, so if I go like this. If you're looking at this and you're like, this looks great, but I'm not really sure how I would quite put it on my robot. I need a few more details, some more close-up pictures. Go ahead and click that link in the description below, and I will send you all the details on that, some pictures, a video of it working, and just kind of how, how it works and to give you a better idea so you can make it your own and get an idea of how it might work on your robot. Now you can see that that D scored a whole bunch of blocks, and if you're going faster, you can get an even better one. Um, but these standoffs help make it easier to catch the side of the block instead of like going over up, ramping up on it. Um, so a little up thing here, you can bend the plastic, put some standoffs, something like that will really help. Um, but yeah, this like double staged uh, pivoting thing and then this plastic on the end is really the key to scoring. Because um, you can score as, as well as you can, but like if you can't de-score, then that's a big problem. So make sure that you have a piece like this on your robot. So that's what you need to know about scoring the long goal. Feel free to drop any questions in the comments below or email me. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Those pictures don't forget in the description below if you want more details on how this works. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.